Every single manager in the world has left their jobs. Let's find out who goes where and how they get on in the Premier League. In 20th place, it's Crystal Palace and Leonardo Jardim is the current manager in charge. However, he's only been in charge for 12 games. And in fact, it was Unai Emery who took over at the start of the season, but he only survived until the 4th of February. In 19th place, it's Aston Villa, and Joachim Lowe is finishing the season in charge of Aston Villa. However, it's Paolo Salsa who got the job in the summer, but he only survived until the 28th of December. In 18th place, it's Stefano Pioli who is seeing out the year in charge of Nottingham Forest. In 18th place, it's Nottingham Forest and their current manager is Stefano Pioli, but he only took over after Roberto De Zerbi was sacked at the end of February. In 17th place, we have our first manager to survive all season, and it's David Moyes who is in charge of Leeds United. In 16th place, it's Eddie Howe who is seen out all season in charge of Brentford. In 15th place, it's Wayne Rooney who's returned to Goodison Park, but he's only been in charge for 12 games. He has taken over from Graham Potter who only managed to last 226 days at Everton as his managerial woes continued. As for Graham Potter's old club, Lionel Scaloni, the World Cup winning manager, has gone to the south coast to link up with Alexi McAllister and he's led Brighton to a 14th place finish. In 13th place, it's probably the most surprising managerial appointment of the season as Xavi has seen out the whole year in charge of Southampton, leading them to a 13th place finish. Up in the Midlands, Leicester City have finished 12th, with Luciano Spalletti being in charge of them for the whole year. In West London, Ralph Hasenhutl has led Fulham to an 11th place finish in the league, with a 35% win percentage. Slap bang in the middle of the league, it's AFC Bournemouth, with Sean Dice in charge. He's played 43 games and he's won 15, giving him a win percentage of 34%. In ninth, it's Sergio Concisao in charge of Wolverhampton Wanderers. He's won 45% of his 48 games in charge, scoring 75 goals and conceding 56. In eighth, it's George Sampaoli currently in charge of West Ham United. However, he's only taken over from Brendan Rodgers, who only lasted 99 days in charge of the Hammers, the shortest of any managerial reign in this experiment. In seventh place, it's Eric Ten Hag in charge of Tottenham Hotspur. He managed 55 games for Spurs with a 41% win percentage. His old boys, Manchester United, are currently without a manager after finishing 6th in the league. Ruud van Nistelrooy was their manager for the entire season, only getting sacked once the season ended. Patrick Vieira has returned to his old stomping grounds of Arsenal and he's led them to a 5th place finish in the Premier League. Up into the Champions League places now and Gerardo Martino has got Newcastle into Europe's premier competition for the first time in just over 20 years as he's managed a 62% win percentage, 48 games played, 30 games won, only the 9 games lost. Another legend has returned to their club as Steven Gerrard has taken over at Liverpool and he's guided them to a 3rd place finish with 57 games played in total, 34 games won and only the 16 lost. The 2nd spot in the league has gone to Zinedine Zidane and Chelsea. He's managed a win percentage of 60%. 40 goals conceded, 79 scored, and only the 10 lost from 48 played in total. 
Of course, it's Manchester City winning the league. Antonio Conte in charge of the Citizens. He's played 58 games with a winning percentage of 74%. As for the FA Cup, it's Newcastle who have won it beating West Brom in the final. In the Carabao Cup, Man City made it a double as they beat Arsenal 2-0 in the final. So people, that is what happens in the Premier League when every manager in the world leaves their job. Let me know down below in the comments section, was there any managerial appointments that surprised you? And if you enjoyed the video, please do me a massive favour and give me a huge thumbs up down below subscribe to the channel for more fm23 content and i'll be back with you soon for more of my oxford save so subscribe for that and i shall see you next time